six mega trends providing you the greatest business opportunities for the next 10 years coming up now. Hi, I'm Oliver. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and pushing that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when we're uploading new videos. Let's deep dive into today's topic, six mega trends that are relevant for new business opportunities for the next decade. Mega trends are essential to understand because they indicate which business trends are going to establish themselves over the next 10 to 15 years. I'm aware that those mega trends derived from an investment perspective not necessarily resulted in extraordinary returns in the past. However, they still gave a lot of startups the possibility to start and thrive and excel in their area of expertise. At the end, you're betting that specific parts of the economy will outperform others. Please be aware that megatrends and trends are not the same thing with trends being short term, three months, six months, and megatrends being a long term decade type of perspectives. Megatrend number one, water. Water is an essential part of every human existence. And even today, according to United Nations, three out of 10 people do not have access to clean drinking water. This trend is actually going to pronounce itself because the populations are actually increasing at the areas where drinking water is not available abundantly. Now, what does that mean in terms of business opportunities? Well, actually there are plenty of opportunities in that area. First of all, there are opportunities for those people providing water to those regions. Secondly, there are opportunities for those people providing the infrastructure for cleaning and purifying drinking water. And thirdly, of course, there's an infrastructure need for cleaning wastewater. This trend actually is going to be pronounced even further because we have global warming, which will have an effect on the way water will be available and a way water need to be treated and stored for those people living in those areas. Mega trend number two, biotechnology. As you are aware of the current situation, everybody's talking about the vaccination for the current disease. Now, new technologies such as CRISPR-Cas, which allows specific editing of genes and genomes in plants, humans, animals, will provide new access to new technologies and medication that are relevant in the future. This technology will be used to solve hereditary diseases or heart failures, for instance. Furthermore, they will enable personalized medication and medicine, meaning that a medicine, for instance, for cancer, will be specifically tailored to your body. This is new and is not yet in implementation. However, they are starting it. There is a lot and a huge business opportunity out there for those who have the scientific background to develop those kinds of drugs. Of course, this is a long-term game, so nothing's gonna happen tomorrow, but if you're able to pull it off, you got a big winner here. Megatrend number three, digitalization. Now you might be thinking, okay, digitalization is nothing new. We are already in there. Yes and no. Reality is we haven't really started with it. We got the internet, yes, it's nice. But reality is we will have more of this than we ever could imagine. Just, it has a big impact on how we are going to live in the future. How are we going to communicate? Do we still need smartphones? I don't think so. How are we going to commute? Will we still have cars? Will we have self-driving cars? All of this will become new. How are we going to ship things from A to B? Is this going to be by robotic ships? Is everything automated? Actually, a lot of those things are discussed under the term industry 4.0, which actually means that you're able to track every component from the origin until it is in a final product. All of this, of course, increases what? The data. We will have to have faster data networks. We will have to have better data storage and faster data connections. Only then, all of that will be pulled off. And of course, with a lot of those data, what is we're going to do with them? We need artificial intelligence. This is going to be one of the biggest things that is going to happen in the next 10 to 15 years. We don't know where it will take us, but we know that we will make use of the big data sets that we will have available for the good of humanity in the future. To give you an idea where AI could play an important role in the future and where business opportunities are lying, here are two things. Number one, R&D processes. Everything according to R&D today, research and development is very manual, very humanly driven. I'm sure that AI with the massive underlying data will enable us to be faster, quicker, and more efficient, meaning cheaper, with any development in the future. The second part where I see AI being a big, big thing and that will have a big impact and a good business opportunity is legal advice. As of today, already insurances use AI to judge whether it is worthwhile pursuing a legal case or not. 
you can see that this is only a starting point and it will also have an impact on the future of a lot of employees. I guess lawyers will become less important in the future or less needed. We will see. Megatrend number four, sustainability. Now, this is of course not a new topic. We have been dealing with it the last years because of global warming, but it is going to stay and it's going to actually increase. There will be a lot of business opportunities down the road because we have to think of the way we live, the way we work, the way we produce things. All of this will shift into a more sustainable way so that we don't use up the earth resources in an unappropriate way. Here are business opportunities that I think are within that megatrend. The reduction of CO2, the reduction of use of plastic and the replacement by other biodegradable products. Alternative energies, the stop of deforestation of rainforests, making them viable for our uh, CO2 reduction. Better and improved recycling strategies. Also, there will be a lot of social responsibility strategies going on in the future, which will provide new business opportunities. How are we going to deal with child labor? How are we going to deal with corruption? How are we going to ensure that the product we consume have been produced in a proper and responsible manner? There are huge business opportunities lying right in front of you. Take them and make use of them. Mega trend number five, safety. We are living in an even more connected and international world, which will require more and more resources to keep it up and working. To think of if we would lose electricity, no internet, no YouTube would work. So we will need those resources and we will need to protect them and ensure that they are not taken away from us in an inappropriate way. So what are the business opportunities in here? Actually, it is data protection, because we are living in a world where our data are abundant and everywhere and we need to protect them. Furthermore, we need to protect against data espionage and malicious software. I mean, viruses are out there like crazy, right? These are things that actually are going to increase in the future and we will have to defend ourselves against them. Second part is physical safety. I'm talking about protection of housing, protection of infrastructure, such as power plants, public buildings, hospitals, bridges, everything that is essential and necessary to keep our human society working as a whole. Then there is one important and maybe not known to everybody feel that it will be more and more important in the future. That is the proper disposal of dangerous goods. Just think of nuclear power plants. Think of chemical waste. Think of other things that are currently in our society and that will need to be stored and disposed in a proper manner and not sent down to somebody, you know, digging it under your neighbor's garden. That's not the way to do it. And food protection. As we know, we have global warming and we will have a lot of things that can be contaminated. If we are attacked on the food level, things are going to be crazy in the future. So food protection is one of the biggest and increasing businesses that I see in the future. This directly brings me to the next mega trend, number six, food, food production and nutrition. We're living in a world with an increasing population, which means we will have to feed them and provide food for all of them in the future. This actually requires us to have a more efficient way of manufacturing and producing food. There are a lot of business opportunities out there. For instance, there are companies that already provide drones which fly over fields and understand where which part of nutrients is missing in the soil and so they can be adjusted or spread accordingly. Then we will have to come up with new cultivation methods, something that is more resistant and prevent in our global warming world. We know today that many of the plants have and suffer heat stress. So there is a lot of opportunities out there for cultivating or developing new plants and or methods to be successful in the future. Then we will need healthier food than we have today. This is a general trend that we will come up and have to deal with because we need less sugar, less salt in our food and less pre-manufactured food most likely. This is a trend that will increase because we cannot sustain our unhealthy lifestyles anyway. Within that, surely the trend to vegetarian and vegan food will be increasing significantly over the next decade, which means there are huge business opportunities for each and everyone out there providing those type of foods in a very tasteful and healthy way. And last but not least, we will come up with something called functional foods. Food that actually has an additional medical benefit to the user or consumer. 
These are not currently out there, but we know that the intake of food actually has a very huge impact on the way our health is and it will continue to be more relevant in the future as we're getting older as well. What mega trends do you think are relevant to you? Drop a comment down below, subscribe, push that notification bell and see you next time.